David and David here. Let's talk about some awesome iPhone keyboard shortcuts. And we're gonna start in the settings app with a really useful feature. Let's go to settings and then general. Scroll down, tap general. And then keyboard. Keyboard and then text replacement. These are essentially little shortcuts where you can actually make these really long. You can type a couple of letters and then it fills in a whole bunch of words. So one of my favorites, and this is just something that maybe you should set up on your phone, is at at. So like two at signs, like an email at sign, you can have that replace with your entire email address. Yep, so I'll tap the plus button upper right hand corner of the screen. So for my phrase, I'm gonna type in my email address. Please subscribe at. This isn't your real email address. Us. And you come Please to the shortcut. To us. Yep. And I'll do at at. All right. Tap save. You now can have as many of these as you want, but this is a super useful one. How many times do you have to type in your email on different websites? A lot. I do too. So I'm going to go to the notes app now, close out of this, open notes. If I come in here and I just type in at at. And then it'll pop up there, or if you hit the space bar, it'll also automatically fill in. Great feature. But now we're in the notes app, and we're actually gonna talk about iPhone keyboard shortcuts that you do with the keyboard. Yeah, one thing a lot of people struggle with is tapping to the word they want to edit. And especially getting into the middle of a word. Yes. So, how do you avoid that? Well, press and hold the space bar, and now you can move your cursor around to anywhere you want. I actually have a typo here. Wrong there, change that to that there. <laughs> to that there, well there, well done. What's next? Next, what do you do if you've got something, you got your coffee in your left hand, you wanna send a text to the right hand, but you can't reach the other side of the keyboard, you can activate the one-handed keyboard. Press and hold on the smiley face icon, it might be a globe icon Could for you. Could be a globe if you have more than one keyboard. Lower right hand, lower left hand corner of the screen, excuse me. And here you'll see left-handed keyboards here, regular keyboards here, right-handed keyboards here. Boom. How do you get it back? How do you get it back? Same thing. Just come back. There yep. you go. Or you just tap the arrow. Or you can just the tap left. the arrow yep. on the left. Also over here, just point out real quick, if you don't want to go to settings, general keyboards, get your keyboard settings, right there. Keyboard, keyboard settings. Keyboard settings. It'll bring you right there. Right there. Here we are. So, you are mad at somebody. You want to yell at them. Right. But you don't want to give them a call. You just want to send it through text. Caps, Caps lock. lock. You could. Tap the shift button every single time and do it that way, or double press that shift button. Yeah, double tap the shift button. Give somebody a piece of your mind. Oh boy, I'm all over the map here. Boo. Boo. But you're not booing us, and if you're not booing us, maybe you should subscribe. Please subscribe to, to our YouTube channel. channel, yes, or join. Become an honorary David like me, or him. Actually, yes. we're real David. We're real, it's on my birth certificate. Right, mine too. But it won't be on yours, but you can become a channel member. Yes. So you're talking to your friend about the weather, making small talk. How do you do with the degrees symbol? You could type out degrees. Right. Lame. The weather is one thing, but the band 98 degrees has the symbol in the name. 98 degrees? You've never heard of 98 degrees. I've never heard of that, no. What's Unbelievable. That? Unbelievable, people. Well, press and hold on the zero. There is a degree symbol. You can actually see a lot of cool things if you start pressing and holding on some of the stuff on the keyboard here, like the exclamation point. Maybe you're talking to somebody in Spanish and you gotta... Or you, if you're using your iPhone upside down. Upside down. Right. Yeah. Another yeah. one, M dash, N dash, hold that hyphen. Hold that hyphen. You got so, that and you got like the fake little bullet point there thing. There you go. If you are doing a range of numbers, yep. N dash. N dash. M dash, if you wanna... You wanna sort of... Break you know, up your sentence a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Same, sort of similar to a semicolon. Also, if you're familiar with other languages and you are wondering, okay, how do I get the little thing to appear above the E, the little slashy thing? How do you do it, David? Hold the, the E. Slashy thing, the accent. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> the accent, yeah. E. E. Also works for, you know, works for all the vowels, works for your N's too. Yep. There you go. And that's pretty good. It's very intuitive. Yes. It's more intuitive than PC keyboards are. That's for sure. Now let's go back to the boo. I'm really angry and I can't just convey that with an exclamation point and capital letters. I wanna make the text bold. Hmm. What do you do? Hmm. How about you highlight that text? Tap the arrow here on the right. How come that's so small? I don't know why it's so small. It's iOS 15 beta for you. There's the B-I-U bold italics underline. Tap on that. What do you want? You wanna bold it, italic it, underline it, strike through. I'm gonna it's make it bold. Size. Whatever. Yep, yeah, there you go. There you go. Boom. Now it is bold. Right, doesn't work in every single app. So if you don't see this option for the BIU, this works in the Notes app. It does. Works in Mail, 
doesn't work other apps. Let's go on a Safari. Yes, our next tip is going to be in Safari. I'm gonna close the Notes app, open up Safari. And what if I wanted to go to a website? I'll just do ESPN. <laughs> it's a terrible example because it's autofill. It's right? autofilling. Pretend he it doesn't, doesn't have any other websites. Press and hold on the period, and now you've got your .com right there, your .net, .edu, .org, .us, any of those. Yep. There you go. You don't have to type in the .com, yep. as David said the other day, like a chump. Like a chump. Boom. You're Saves flying some through time. These You're saving a lot of time. You use all of these keyboard shortcuts together, you'll actually save a lot of time. That's right. We didn't even talk about swipe. We're talking about swipe in this video, I don't David. Like, I don't like swipe. I like swipe. Okay, we'll go to the we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back to the notes app here. Yeah. Swipe. Oh, you could swipe too. Sunday. I just spelled Sunday. Yeah. Well, you know that's what happens if you just do it randomly. Next, we're going to talk about skin tones in emojis, which is a really cool feature. It works pretty similar to the adding the E's with the things above. Tap on the emoji icon, and what if I wanted to give a thumbs up? There it is. Thumbs up. I'm doing it in white skin. Right, you gotta you gotta press and hold. Press That's and the hold. Point. Press and hold. They don't all have alternate appearances. All the thumbs ones do. They actually just recently added them to the family ones yep. to give more skin tones, more variations. It's a very cool idea. But that's how you do it. Those are some great iPhone keyboard shortcuts. Share this with your friends. Let them know where you learned them. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thanks.